All right, here we are. The last session. Yeah, that last one kind of ended weird. Looked like we went into the house abandoned room, and that was it. Now, what could that mean? Were we a howl all along? Was the house abandoned the first thing that happened? And this is all just a uh, reimagining? Oh, dude, four stories, one nightmare. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. But also excited to see what happens, so I guess we got that. Alright, I guess we can only hear this one more time. Here we go. Stories Untold. Episode 4. The Last Session. Let's do it. One last intro, here we go. What? What? Uh, froze? Froze? Quite fond of the show, aren't you? Oh, so right away my mind is fucked. Great, great. So I was in a waiting room? Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. The fuck? This place must be starting to feel like home to you. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. What? I'm just in here. What in? The Christ. Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. Oh my god. What is gonna fuck? I haven't- oh my- I don't know! Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. All right. Oh, this is subject twelve nineteen eighty six twenty three, new session entry. We have myself, Doctor Alexander, leading, and in a room we have our patient, Mister James Asian. Can I have some water. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two week coma. <sighs> in our last three sessions. James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready. Holy fuck! So I, I was in a car accident. Must be, but you can do this, James. It's time to remember. Oh my! Oh. Your mind. It's like a uh, conscious black box. It can show you your memories. Look into it. So, is my mind fucking with me again? I don't know. Let's look into it. Oh, God. In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world, locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily, encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring you back. What? People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's a 5610FM. You can't miss it. 
This is fucked. All the shit was my family helping me get through now. Oh my god. Alright. Let's do it. This is fucked. I'm not even gonna say anything till I hear some more here. What in the Christ is going on? Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. Okay, wait, I should break this, this down just in case. F. This is 20 F. Alright. 12, 19, 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is 20 F. Oh, shit, gotta 12, do this again. 19. All right, where's the report? Again, I fucking do that all the time. Whoa. Road traffic accident report file. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's read it. Two vehicles. March 20th, 86. Is he 20 at? Oh, shit. So that girl I seen was some random. Or was it? Arrived on scene to discover two cars that had been involved in a near head on collision. Mr. Asian found laying down outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. Oh, his passenger. Oh, shit. Was that his sister? His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained from the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings. Do I remember Mr. Hennings? was found dead on arrival. It was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey. Oh. And an empty whiskey on the passenger seat. Oh, son of a bitch. Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passenger was his sister. Holy shit! I had a feeling. Driver of the blue sedan is an ex-police officer of 20 fucking years. So he's off, isn't he? Well, I guess he can't be off since he's dead. Oh, so it was my sis. That picture I found. That picture that popped up? Episode 2, I think? That was her. Oh, fuck. Oh. Why would I say it's all my fault and that? Huh, so maybe there's a code on here somewhere that I'm not seeing? Okay, it could be anything, like 14, 8, 86... Look at all these. Plate number... What does it say? Line... what? Line 1. Oh. So do I type in 20F fatal, and then empty whiskey and out of control, I guess? They're all circled. There's only three of them, so let's try it. 20F fatal accident. Now oh, you watch. Gonna have to be capitalized. Let's see. Yep. I thought so. Okay, maybe that. Okay. Got it. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Oh, look it. Finally. NS1, Officer Williams. 7,000 FM. Alright. 
Got a little interview here, Officer Williams. It's not like it. At all. I've worked with Officer Henning for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No way he caused this. It's him. This oh. Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. Oh, first person again. Did you hear that? I've got something to hide. Maybe it was my fault. Dude, this is unreal. This doesn't make sense to you. Gas can? Why am I in Buffalo Bill's basement? Where's the lotion to put on the skin? Hmm. Gas? It's not letting me click on shit. Oh. Fuck off! Oh my god. Well, not going that way. Step out in the hospital ward. Only it seems abandoned. House abandoned? I didn't get to read that last part. Oh, Jesus. Don't have that fifth pint. Oh, great. First steps to recovery. Oh. Oh, I'm not going in there. Excuse me, do you got a whiskey? <laughs> oh, oh. Car keys? Yeah, those look like car keys, right? You grab the keys from the table. They weigh heavy. You turn shit on. What am I hiding? There it is. Bane of my existence. Hey, the Futuro! Greenland? Oh my. So I was reading fucking books the whole time. Oh my Christ. Oh my goodness. Can't flick that on any of this. The only video. Oh, it's a video. Oh. Can I use the key? How do I use a key? Oh. The waiting area is dark. Do you feel a presence behind? I'm not looking behind me. If that's what you want. Yep. What is. What is. Something's. Dragging me back. I'm not looking. Oh fuck, I was just about to look. <laughs> Alright, no one's there. The lock is broken. You can't open it. Okay, don't, please. Just stop it. The lock is jammed. It can't be opened. You feel a dread in the pit of your stomach. No, I felt that when I started. Oops, so Mr. Hennings taking a piss. Mr. Hennings? Oh! Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. Oh, here he we go. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. Oh, the other what? Just died in the accident. Holy fuck! I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. So I died at the scene, 
Wait. Come on, 100 jewels. Oh, oh, I'm actually like doing this myself. What? Uh, where's the amps? Come on. Hold on. There, there it is. Turn this radio off. Oh, gotta use my skills to do this. Uh, which I have none. Um, turn this drill on. Get the drill going. Come on, 100 jewels. Charging up full to 10. Oh my god, I had to turn that off. Are you serious? Clear. Ah! No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher. 200 jewels. Keep the amp charged to 10. Okay. 200. Oh, damn. 200 jewels. Shut your Keep mouth. Charge at 10. Let's go. Shut. Up, Doctor. Clear. Ah! Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Oh my god! Increase so the second story... Charge full. That's what you were doing. Oh my Christ. Come on, 360, hurry. Oh, that's so messed up. So wait, does my heart explode? It's like living through the whole accident. Clear. Ah! Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Oh. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Oh. Gotta run an x-ray now. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. that where are we with that x-ray let's get it going now please what I've had everything shut off that's so all right I guess it works I don't know <sighs> looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage we need to drain this now to relieve pressure prepare for oh, trepanation fuck. switch on a drill please Oh, great. My head's in the drill. The drill. Please. Can I turn that on? The drill. Please. Alright, drill is on. Mr. Asian. Oh. You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm. Oh, that. Relax Jesus. While we go through these next steps, we're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're back to the Commodore. Ah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Tell me, has the music still? Damn it. No music. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with new friends. Mom? Dad? And your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. Hmm. So I guess do the old look around. The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of mom and dad. There is a door in the hall. Okay, look. Door. The doorway is wide open, allowing guests to move freely throughout the house. Use hall. Go to hall. There. 
You push through the crowd, into the hallway. The hallway is as welcoming as ever. Only this time, folks have put a great big banner across the main hall. Half-finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. That's a weird way of putting it. Stairs lead up, although the party is firmly downstairs. They go up to the bedrooms and bathrooms. Hmm. Go... Yeah. As much as you'd like to, you promised you'd stay downstairs with the party. Well, fuck! What if I gotta puke in the toilet? Go to kitchen? Oh, okay. The kitchen is full of people. And loud. There are drinks and food on the table. And the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast. Oh, nice. Which sits proudly on the table. Although no one is eating it. Got a banner. Bon voyage, James. Finally not the family disappointment. Oh. That didn't age well. Fucking crashes his sister and kills her. Nice job, James. Good job, James. There we go. Go to the living room here. Oh, it's just the same shit. Alright, well. Let's have a uh, drink. Oh. Oh, I have to go get my own drink? Oh, look at... Sibling. I don't know. So she's not even there, great. So the only place I can go is the kitchen. All the best parties are in the kitchen. Full of people and lap. What? It's a gr Did I not do- Oh, I was in a different room. I think. I put used drink in a different room and it said I could not take someone else's drink. Okay, so do I grab another? Keep drinking? Or use? Okay. Wait, oh, maybe I can see the parents in here now. Look at mom. Hey, right, let's go through all of them, I guess. Sister. Oh, oh, I guess she is. Your sister is calling over to talk. Do I go to sister? Oh, okay, here we go. You go to Hennifer. You hug. You're gonna miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you're enjoying the party. Say yes. Oh, okay, sweet. That worked. She tells you to enjoy it anyway, and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. Alright. Get sis... Uh, I better put her name... Well, I'll try this first. Oh, that worked. Pour gin and drink, and one for your... Do I need another one? Jesus! There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. Say... Hell... Yes? Grab... Another... Drink? I'll just say, say hell yes. Oh, that worked. Sweet. Hell yes! Another hug? Your family has really gone out of the way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective. And maybe not fuck up so much. Yeah, tell me about it. She's going to miss you. You were going to miss her. She walks away. Oh, shit. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the approving faces. There is so much for you to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a... Jeez, bot! I don't even know what he's drinking. Could be absinthe for all we fucking know. Okay. 
Oh. Anything to move the night along? Wouldn't this be a decent night? Like, you don't want to leave. Big trip. This guy just wants it over with. Holy shit. Should I grab another one? Or... <laughs> Holy shit. What am I need I can grab? Oh my god. We're gonna make this accident happen. Okay, look around. Room's full, there's a utility room and right oh again. Shit. Okay. Use utility. You know I'm probably so sassed. I need to pass. You open the door and peer in. Oh yeah, I wasn't allowed in there the first time. Shit. You're never allowed in here normally. This is where dad keeps his fine wines and... Oh, shit. Fine wines and whiskey. Ceiling to floor racks. Oh my god. A collector, although he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. You pick up the whiskey and card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt. Oh. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. Oh, so it's dad's fault. Dad killed Jennifer. What a son of a bitch. With your whiskey in hand, you take in the room about you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds of worth of drinking here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. You take a swig. It's probably the best and strongest you've tasted. Ever. Just, wow! Mmm, go to kitchen. Oh, okay, here we go. Clutching your new best friend. You stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. Take another swig and give a thumbs up to Dad across the room. <laughs> oh, maybe I go upstairs now. Oh, now upstairs. Because I'm wasted, I won't care. I should be downstairs, but I'm going to go upstairs now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. few bumps and laugh on the way through. You make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen. Covered in blood. Well, there's some stories untold goosebumps I've been talking about. As tradition. Look at Jen. She's staring straight at you. No one else knows. Uh, Jen? Jen, you're scaring me. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Holy fuck. Don't cry, my sis. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Why is the... I'm what? I'm sorry. Oh. Oh shit. Uh, go for drive. Oh fuck. Take Jen to hospital while whiskey decked. God damn it. Grab another brew dog. Oh my fucking shit. Okay. I I'm out of here. 
Oh! I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. Oh, it's my mother. I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. Oh. Oh! The pictures, holy shit, now they're coming together. You're standing in the hallway. Something has stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Maybe I go back, I go outside? Oh shit, I'm looking for the car keys. All right, uh, go to... Hey, Lit! Freaking right! Living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat on the chairs having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the drink cabinet. Coffee table, drinks cabinet, one of the chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Keys are not on the table. Got coats. Oh, here we go. I got the keys. Let's go romping, Jen. I right, go. Let's see if that's right. Keys in hand, you head back to the hall. Jen thanks you for helping her out. She has work in the morning, and no one else is in a fit of state to drive. Oh, but I am. I am in a perfect state. A 25-year-old whiskey state. You can handle it, though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. You open the front door and walk out into the freezing night. Oh, the cold air hits you. You're glad you have your jacket with you. There's a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house, and the car sits at the front of the house. Go to car. You fumble with the car handle, confused, until Jen tells you to maybe use the key in your hand. She still thinks I'm able to drive here. I don't even know how to use a key to get into the car. Oh, God. Shit. Car is freezing! As you fumble around with your seatbelt, your sister opens up the car glove box and hands you a note. What's. Oh. And a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you reach. Oh my god. The start of the house abandoned. So I can't read it now, right? Well, it's the same one. It's the same one. Use... <laughs> so I gotta use the key like 80 times here. Let's use... Turn... Oh, engine. It's probably engine on. <laughs> You turn the key in ignition and the car roars to life. <laughs> uh, drive? Squeals but stays stationary. Just, just releasing the brake. Oh. Jeez, I'm in a fit state, right? There we go. Very hesitantly released. Oh, it's the handbrake. Okay, now drive. Here we go. Like a first time driver. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck. Goosebumps again. 
Goosebumps again. You, I, am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. Is it left or right? Oh, shit. You know what? You might have to uh, let's take right. Oh. Uh, go left? Oh, okay. Ask Jim. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left. Of course it's left. Alright. Go left. You turn the car left at the junction and, and accelerate off. Confident that you're on the right road now, you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. Oh, fuck. So it's snowing out. I'm on 25-year-old whiskey. Gen sauced. Oh, Christ. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Maybe I should slow down. That's not what really happened. Oh. You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Oh, fuck. What? Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you. Crazy sister. Strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow, like slow motion. Uh, how about you swerve, James? You try to- oh, it actually worked, wow. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. No way to control it. James, Delight. for fuck's sake, pull over! Uh, I'm trying! Oh! James! Fuck! Whoa. Was at this very moment. Wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Her parents. Herself. And then you made it worse. Go on. Show us what you did. What? What I- How the fuck did I make this Oh, don't even- Do I, like, throw her body over or something? Like... What the fuck? Oh, we got Hal again here. You wake up in the car, your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to hold you in your seat. An impact to another car has torn a hole in the chassis. Poisonous fumes spill into your car from the engines. Oh shit. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Oh, that's a throwback. Do I look at this guy again? Okay, I don't think I'm good. Crawl out. Get out. You can't move. Your seatbelt is still on. Okay. Release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over. You slump onto the roof of your car. So now do I crawl or should I check sis? She's alive, but she's been hurt bad. What? What else did I do? What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, do I save? Like, save Jen. Get out. Oh, here we go. Squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground. Oh, I didn't get to read the rest. Every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car is smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey. What? Still? Holy buddy! You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching at a distance. Don't even tell me I gotta drink again. The note always... Oh, now it's changing! Get through this, James. I don't care if you want to or not. Oh my god. 
save Jin. Look at lights. Use whiskey. Oh my god. Yes, good Emperor Palpatine. He's got a hold of James and the 25 year old whiskey. Yes, good James. What exactly do you want to do with the whiskey? I want to drink it, sir. How about I throw the bottle? You can't just toss this away without thinking. They will find it and they will come to you. Oh, no way. No way. Do I plan it on her? Oh, no. Plan it on her or the cops. Oh, fuck. Let's just see. Oh, 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 what's going on? It's flashing. Oh, fuck. Like, what did you put whiskey by Jen? I can't even see. In blue car. Oh, you fucking blame it on him. What? With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the thrill of their sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately, spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver, and you toss out the incriminating evidence onto his passenger seat. Wow. What a fucking story. What an asshole. What about Jen? Circle flashing lights surround you. Illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Oh, fuck. The silhouette is a police officer, and in uniform. Beckons you to approach. Oh, fuck. Sore, you are not making any sense. Go to... Officer? As you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. I know, you. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. What? It was all your fault. What you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. Oh, fuck. You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all of our lives. And then you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. The fuck out! Utterly consumed by it. I can't help it! Say it, James. I was 25 years old! It was all my fault. Say it. Tell them. It was all my fault. It was all my fault, Listen man. Listen to yourself. I was just going on a trip! I didn't know it was gonna happen! It has to end, James. I think I know what to do. Do you not understand? Dr. Alexander is always watching remotely. I don't know if anyone this else is. This episode you're having must come to an end. 
All of your episodes are recorded on the tape. This is the fourth? I know. I know that. Make it stop. Make it stop. Do you remember? I'm getting out of here. Stop the session, Mr. Hitchin. Okay. It's not letting me stop the session, sir. Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Hitchin. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect it'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Oh my. On, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. That Holy shit How good was that as a whole? That was... This game's $10. Let me just say that. An epic ad for free. Absolutely unreal story. Like, ever since episode 2, I was like, well, there's a car accident and somebody's dead. You're not a girl, so I was like, eh, well, it was either you hit a girl, or... But then you go in your sister's room, and it starts to make this crazy. Honestly? Holy fuck. Goosebumps. Oh, look, it changed, too. James Asian, Dr. Alexander Sessions 1 to... F How fucking crazy was that? Seriously. Oh, even if you stuck through it, all four episodes, go buy it. Wait two years. By then, you've forgotten all about it. You know what happens, but you, you want to go through it yourself. Well, alright, that was... an incredible brain fuck. I'm just gonna say that. One of the best, simple horror experience I've ever had. Hands down. Hands down. Holy shit. So simple. Yet so effective. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the last session. And all the other sessions. That was just absolutely unreal. Thank you for sticking around, and I'll be looking out for more of these. And let's hope for number two. Ladies and gentlemen. This was Stories Untold.